Welcome! What's customizing and how is it done in SAP? Packaged software, although ready-made, rarely comes ready to run. To a large extent, this is true for any ERP software. In this video, you'll gain a brief insight into the configuration work. Therefore, the idea of customizing will be outlined and then you'll throw a glance at where and how this is done. By the end of the video, you understand what customizing means, you get to know the implementation guide and you comprehend how the screen layout of the document purchase requisition can be customized. Let's begin with the idea of customizing. Before real company data can be entered in an SAP system, it must of course be set up. This goes along with the requirements of the company. But no two companies are the same and the specific business needs must be taken into account. That's why a great many of SAP ERP functions are variable. Business tasks can be done in different ways and parameters of the functions can be set to meet different business demands. The process of setting these parameters is called customizing. And only after this configuration work is done, the SAP ERP is ready to run for the company. In essence, with customizing, the packaged software can be adapted to the needs of the respective enterprise. Let's have a look at where in the SAP system this configuration work is done. Customizing in SAP ERP itself is an application and can be accessed by entering the T code SPRO into the command field on the standard toolbar. This takes you to the SAP Reference IMG, the implementation guide which contains the full functionality of all possible settings across all countries and application components of SAP ERP. It is here where the tremendous potential to configure the software unfolds, where among other things, screen layouts and performance of transactions are controlled. So to customize means to work through this implementation guide by choosing the desired functions and set them according to the requirements of the company. Now you know where the customizing is done. Let's see how it is executed. Although customizing is a complex and extremely sensitive matter, only carried out by a team of experts, you can nevertheless get an idea how this is executed. Let's turn to an outline of an ordinary customizing activity. You already know the document Purchase Requisition from previous videos. To set the screen layout at document level, I select the appropriate customizing activity within the implementation guide. On this screen you define whether the user must or can enter input in a certain field. But you can also determine whether the field is only displayed, that is, cannot be changed. Now you can imagine why a certain document may look different depending on the document level and the company. All settings are stored in various tables in the central database. That's why the title bar reads Maintain Table T162. With this short demonstration of a customizing activity, you're at the end of the video. Let's summarize. Because SAP ERP is a packaged software, it must be made ready to run by customizing. This means setting a large number of functionalities to the specific needs of the company. Via the transaction SPRO, the implementation guide allows to execute the relevant customizing activities, such as defining the screen layout of documents. And that's all for this time. The next video is about mapping a company in SAP ERP. Thank you for watching and bye!